Mohammed, talk us through the real significance of the changing of the guards here. I do believe that the Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei needs someone who is more aggressive, someone who could uh, execute his policies. And it sounds from just reading uh, who is this new uh, leader of the Islamic uh, Revolutionary Guard, Mr. Islami. He is someone who is going to be much more aggressive. He's very, you know, he's, not, he's unknown. He has the credentials as a military leader. He fought in the Ira Iraqi Iranian uh, Iran f uh, war of, uh, of the 80s. He's been involved in the military for a long time but he is unknown and he is uh, viewed as more uh, aggressive than his predecessor Mr. Jafari and this could be a message that is uh, that Iran and the Supreme Leader wants to send to the international community that they will not be uh, standing still uh, regarding all these sanctions and uh, what uh, the Iranians view as aggressive aggressive uh, uh, policies toward Tehran and this could be a signal that Iran may actually act upon its th threats Mr. Jafari the former uh, the former leader of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard which still had 40 months on his term he has just been uh, appointed some 19 months ago but it shows that the supreme leader wasn't happy with his style uh, we could be looking at maybe uh, some sort of a military uh, uh, clashes uh, sometime soon also inside uh, Iran, uh, Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan is in Tehran. What's he trying to accomplish there? Two, two things. Strengthening the ties between the two neighboring countries. But I think the more important issue here is t the uh, southeastern borders, uh, a long border that's been shared, that is shared between the two countries. And uh, Iran has uh, actually been uh, suffering from continuous and free frequent attacks from the Balochistan, uh, you know, uh, province inside Pakistan. This has a, a province uh, that has been really uh, tough on Iranian forces and uh, they want to establish some sort of a border uh, agreement where Pakistan as well as Iran can work together to blocking any attacks on their sources on their forces from either side of the border.